The head of the Royal Air Force was in Murray today to thank squadrons at RAF Lossiemouth who have returned from a NATO mission to protect the skies above Romania from Russian threats to airspace. 150 personnel and four Typhoon aircraft took part in Operation Biloxi and they'll soon be involved in more international duties as Nicola McCallie reports. Typhoon jets at RAF Lossiemouth today. Four of the aircraft and around 150 personnel have just finished a four-month deployment to Romania as part of NATO mission Operation Biloxi. Today, the RAF's chief of staff visited the Murray base to thank the squadrons involved. What we need to uh, be is prepared 24-7 when we're on uh, the flanks of NATO, 24-7 uh, here in the United Kingdom as well, uh, just to protect our airspace and reassure our allies. Uh, so this is a task that is just at the heart of what the Royal Air Force does. Their task was to provide quick reaction alert, round-the-clock readiness to protect the Black Sea coast from Russian military aggression. Over the period, they were scrambled eight times, facing down 20 Russian aircraft, with STV News travelling to Romania in June to report on their work. Roger Cruikshank was one of the pilots involved. The Murray base provides QRA for the UK all year round. He says it's what they are trained for. It was, um, I'm really glad to say, a resounding success to come back and to know that actually we had eight live scrambles uh, against 20 threat aircraft is a fantastic um, uh, fantastic success, you know, all down to the teamwork of everyone who's involved out there um, to come back and um, to know that it all went smoothly and everyone yeah, really got involved together and, and got the job done. The typhoons are home for now, but soon they'll be taking off again to take part in air policing in Estonia and Iceland next year and before that as part of a major military exercise in Oman, honing their skills both here and abroad. Nicola McCallie, STV News.